Hello coin collectors out there. Welcome back to the Big D Coins channel. The year was 2008, the final year of the state quarter series. We saw Oklahoma, New Mexico, Arizona, Alaska, and Hawaii. However, what's interesting is that the second to last state, which is the one behind us right here, Alaska actually has a very common known error. Now that error is what's known as the sixth law. So I want to give you a depiction of it prior to you actually seeing it. So what you're going to want to look for for this particular quarter, you're going to want to look for extended material between the fourth and the fifth claw, which was not part of the original design. So I'm going to remove these ones right here. We'll actually revisit them and just briefly talk about the mintages and the design of each of those 2008 quarters. But I want to zoom in I need to adjust the lighting so that you can see it a little bit better. Uh, give me one second. Here we go. We got the lighting a little bit better. So look for the extra material between the fourth and the fifth claw, creating what's known as the sixth claw error. There we go. That's pretty good lighting. So uh, we see some extra material right there. So it's known as the sixth claw error or the uh, chip in twig error. So you can see uh, right between that fourth and the fifth claw, it looks like there is either a extra claw or there is a twig that's in the um, claw of the bear. Now that has been confirmed by the uh, mint as not being part of the original design. So this uh, this is actually quite common with the 2008 Philadelphia Mint Quarters. Now as far as the production amount of these particular quarters, they started to decrease a little bit toward the end of the state quarter program. So the state quarters uh, for, two for 2008, we had 416 million from Oklahoma, 488 from New Mexico, 509 from Arizona, 505 from Alaska, 517 from Hawaii. Now, you might be thinking that's a lot, but that's not very much compared to the old 2000 state quarters. So for 2000, we had 1.6 billion for Massachusetts, 1.2, 1.3, 1.1, and 1.5 billion for Virginia. So those are the billions that were made for 2000. So by the year 2008, interest had been lost a little bit. So the production amounts are actually cut in half. Now, as far as the other quarters, I also wanted to share with them, uh, share them with you in case you're very new to the state quarter program and you haven't seen any of these before. So let's look at them one at a time. We'll just kind of zoom in and I'll tell you what the reverse design is. That's probably what you're most interested in hearing about. So we're looking at Oklahoma right here. So the first quarter that was released in 2008, on the reverse, we see a scissored tailed flycatcher, which is Oklahoma's state bird. The design depicts the bird with its distinctive tail feathers. Beneath the bird, there is also a state wildflower called the Indiana blanket in a the Indiana blanket in a field. Excuse me, the Indian blanket. Excuse me, in a field of wildflowers. So I messed up the flower name quite a bit. It's the Indian blanket in a field of wildflowers. I was thinking about states and was saying Indiana. All right, so we're on to New Mexico. New Mexico was uh, the second quarter in the series. So on the verse side right here, we see the ZI sun symbol representing the giver of all good, which provided gifts in groups of four. So we see kind of four different symbols here very often. So the circle, the circle in the center represents life and love without ending or beginning. Uh, the four rays represent four directions, four seasons, four phases of the day, as well as four divisions of life. The reverse design also features a topographical map of the state. So very cool New Mexico state quarter right here. And then the last quarter, the last state to be admitted as part of the contiguous U.S., we have Arizona. The re reverse design features a Grand Canyon, which is one of the seven wonders of the world. It is also part of the United States National Park System. The canyon is up to 6,000 feet deep, so very deep. The reverse design also contains the Suagro cactus in the foreground. So we see that cactus right here in the foreground of the quarter. We've got the Alaska quarter, which we'll look at a little bit later as well. But let's get to this one right here, the last in the series. We see Hawaii, and we feature on the reverse king, uh, king of Hawaii. 
uh, who was a unified he unified the governance of Hawaii Island in the early 1800s. He navigated through modern changes while maintaining a native uh, practices and traditional ways of island life. The reverse design depicts the ruler with an outstretched hand toward the eight main Hawaiian islands. So we see those eight main Hawaiian islands uh, and the ruler right there who helped unify them. All right, now let's get back to this one right here. We'll do another look at this six claw error and we'll talk about the prices associated with it. Now the prices associated with it uh, will aren't going to be super high uh, just because this is a well-known error. Uh, it will greatly depend on the severity of the error, how bad it looks, as well as the condition of the coin. So you want your coin to be in the best condition possible, which this one is in very good shape. Not perfect, certainly not perfect, but in very good shape. We see the P mint mark right there for Philadelphia. But when we flip it over, we see that error right here on the reverse. So this coin right here will sell for around three to four dollars. That's what you can expect to pay for this six claw error in um, about uncirculated or almost uncirculated condition. Now, even though it's in un uncirculated condition, it can still have bag marks and bag scratches from it just being tossed around in the coin bag. Um, when it was made as part of when it came directly from the mint. So you still see some scratches on it, even though it's a uncirculated or almost uncirculated coin. All right, everyone, hopefully you enjoyed this video at the 2008 Philadelphia Mint Alaska State Quarter Error, known as the Sixth Claw Error. We also saw Hawaii, Arizona, New Mexico, and Oklahoma. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. If you are into coin collecting, Please do check out some of the other videos on this channel. Thank you very much and best of luck coin collecting out there, everyone. Enjoy.